Hello everyone, I am quite sick, so excuse my shabby look. Today we're going to be going over how to use ChatGPT. This won't be too complex, and the target audience for this is people over 25, for lack of a better term. Your brain's a little more hardened, it's not as malleable, it's a brand new technology, well, new in the mainstream, and I want to mitigate the effort that you would need to put in in order to learn this, because I feel like the learning curve is fairly steep only for a short period of time. And so if I could help you mitigate that and help you not have to give as much deliberate effort to learn this, I would be very happy. So let's get started. So here's the chat box. It's right here. And so we have some examples here of what we could do. We could ask it to build us a, build a capsule wardrobe, optimize my code snippet, create a morning routine. But let's assume we are a student. We're going back to school and we really need some help getting things back together. We don't want it to write for us, but we need an example of how this goes. And we need an example that we understand because our teachers may give us examples that are not tailored to us. So this is the perfect teacher for you. Roll. You are my professor. My psych professor. Okay, that's the role. Task. Oh, you can give yourself yourself. I am a 35 year old student going back to college. Task. I need help understanding um, B.F. Skinner's experiments. I need you to explain it to someone who hasn't been in school for, say, 17 years. And then here's what we're going to do. We're going to click this button, or you're going to hit enter on your laptop. So look, it's giving us everything we need. And listen, these brackets I put here and roll and task, that's for you guys. The machine doesn't really need that, though it does help a little bit. So let's rewrite the whole thing. Let's create a new instance. So let's read out some of the work. Absolutely, let's dive into B.F. Skinner's experiment with a fresh perspective. Skinner, a prominent figure in psychology, is most famous for his work in the field of behaviorism, so on and so forth. So let's stop this, and let me open a new one. And I'll do the same exact thing without the brackets. You are my psych professor. I haven't been in school for a while. Can you explain to me E.F. Skinner's experiments? I don't understand what an experiment really is. Welcome back to the academic world. I'd be happy to explain B.F. Skinner's experiments and the concept of an experiment. So it starts off with what is an experiment, independent variable, the, variable, the thing that changes, dependent variable, the thing that's measured, of course, so on and so forth. And then look, now it goes over B.F. Skinner, even says his whole name. So let's do one more task. Let's say you work in a school and you're a teacher and you need help understanding how this works because you think if I use this, I can have so much more energy to spend with my students. So let's go over an example. Hey, I am a teacher. The format doesn't have to be perfect, but ideally you say what you want it to do or who you are, the task, and then the role, either your role or the role you want it to play. Hey, I'm a teacher. I need help making lesson plans for geometry. I have some students who know nearly everything and some who barely know that a circle has in the 60 degrees. I need help. I don't have the energy to teach them. Let's see what it gives us. Start with a diagnostic assessment, see where students are, differentiate instructions. Maybe you want to cluster them together so they can learn together and Maybe someone who's not performing as well can get inspired by someone who does it on their own. 
And let's see what they put. For beginners, you con use concrete materials and visual aids. For advanced learners, challenge them with problem-solving activities. The use of technology. Leverage technology to provide self-pacing learning opportunities. Khan Academy is adaptive. And when I say adaptive, I mean the better you are, the harder it gets. The, the, the more novice you are, the easier it is. Group work and peer teaching. Look, it's giving us a lot of resources. And we could stop it right now. And let's go over one more example. Um, let's say, hey, I have to write a paper. I don't need you to write it, but I don't know where to start. I think homelessness is a really big deal. And, and I want to provide some solutions, but I don't know who to reference or how to start. Can you help me? Maybe an outline? Look at this. Writing a paper on homelessness and potential solutions is a commendable task. It requires a thoughtful approach to both understanding the root cause of homelessness and pro proposing effective solutions. And it's giving us an outline right now. And I know some of your teachers might have banned at GBT, so on and so forth. But what I'd say, if you're really having a hard time and your grade depends on the outline, I'd just say use your creativity to extrapolate on some ideas that you receive. Everyone's copying somebody else. There's really no original ideas, but maybe novel connections between two old ideas. So this is what ChatGPT is sort of giving us. And then let's say, this is great. Can you write it in Spanish? Look, guys, so maybe you need to differentiate. Maybe you're a teacher and you need to explain something. You're in a dual language school. So this should be really helpful for you guys. And I'm going to end the video right here. I really appreciate you guys watching this, and I hope this helps you. If you need to contact me, um, I'd like to request that only people who really need it or who plan to actually commit to using it will contact me because uh, I don't have a lot of time. And my email is theethancastro at gmail.com. So if you're an older individual, or let's say you're really busy and you don't understand this and you need like a quick little video with me saying your name, make it more personalized, let me know. Have a great day, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Peace.